When asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, my answer was almost always that I wanted to become a professional equestrian. Weekends, early mornings, and daydreams filled with thoughts of horses, and when given the chance between education and riding, I chose my passion. I didn't know who I was at 18, but I knew that college was not right for me, and that horses was it. Upon graduating high school, I moved out of my parents' home and embarked on my journey into adulthood. I was broke and exhausted, but I was passionate. I was living the life I had intended. At least that's what I told myself. Two years in, I found myself at a crossroads between the life I'd chosen and the life that could be if I charted a different course. So I pivoted. I decided to enroll in a local community college where I nearly flunked out my first semester with a 2.0 GPA and a letter from the dean. I recognized that the dedication I had shown for my riding career would need to be redirected, and soon I found a passion for history and for school. After two years, I transferred to UCLA, where I studied history and African American studies and discovered my love for research. I then went on to receive my master's at the University of Oxford in the UK, and I'm currently studying for my PhD in history and African American studies at Yale. It is thanks to scholars and advocates for non-traditional education, such as Dr. Jill Biden, that my story is even possible. That is why I would like to dedicate this video to her work and urge us all to reconsider what we consider a proper education in America. Hello everyone and happy inauguration day. Today's video is one that is very near and dear to my heart and one that I've been planning ever since Joe Biden was elected to the US presidency to be our 46th president, but I'm not here to talk about him. I'm here to talk about Dr. Jill Biden. To say that Dr. Biden is one of my heroes and idols would be an understatement. As a community college student who got off to a rocky academic start, Dr. Biden's story and work is something that I not only admire, but it is something that I hope to emulate. When the op-ed claiming Dr. Biden should be stripped of her title and her accomplishments was released, it was felt everywhere by women and non-traditional students, by community college students, and by myself. As a student in the first year of my PhD program, I can personally attest to the effort, dedication, and rigor that is required of a doctoral degree. And I stand to support Dr. Biden, not only for her work and her accomplishments, but for the value and integrity of her work as well. Today, I wish to honor her by reading her dissertation and highlighting some insights that I gained from reading her work. Student retention at the community college meeting students' needs was Dr. Biden's dissertation for her doctorate in education from the University of Delaware, which she defended in 2006. So without further ado, let's get to reading. When first sitting down to read Dr. Biden's dissertation, I was immediately reminded of the rigorous revision process required of all doctoral students. From committee meetings, research proposals, comprehensive exams, and a defense, this dissertation represents Dr. Biden's tireless efforts which she continues in her work as an educator for first-generation students and veterans today. Her dissertation begins by highlighting the characteristics of the community college classroom. According to Dr. Biden and the studies cited throughout this piece, women make up over half of the enrolled students in community college, many of them being single mothers. She goes on to highlight the difficulties of designing curriculum to meet the needs of students who come from various backgrounds and who may be in community college for vastly different reasons. As an extension of the original junior colleges, which were founded in the early 20th century, community colleges were designed to provide vocational training as well as opportunities to transfer to four-year universities. It was in 1977 that it was proclaimed that community college and higher education replaced the Western frontier as the land of opportunity. Biden points to curriculum and who was designed to help succeed, stating that, quote, high schools are graduating students who are ill-prepared for the rigors of college, end quote and that the burden then fell on the community college to provide the vocational and academic skills needed to continue one's education and to advance one's career prospects. Among her various suggestions, one that stood out was Biden's recommendation to change the learning and written format in high schools to prepare students for undergraduate study and to provide support for returning students who may have had time away from school and may have significant gaps in their ability to study effectively. Empowering students to build from where they are rather than, quote, build in failure is a point which I could not agree with more. Going beyond scholarly ability and performance, Biden's dissertation highlights the many challenges faced by students from various backgrounds and personal circumstances to demonstrate the importance of access to education and ongoing studies to improve retention at the community college and beyond. I know my summary was rather short and simple, but I just wanted to quickly summarize Dr. Biden's dissertation and urge you all to read it as well. I think it's important to see the things that are being written by the leaders of our education systems and of our world. And I just wanna quickly say, 
Thank you, Dr. Biden, for all of your efforts and for everything that you do. Us community college transfers stand with you, and we're so excited that you are in the White House. We look forward to seeing what you and our 46th president have in store for us. Thanks for watching, everyone.